and that was at a Christmas party with the Sudbury's. <laughs> uh, this is Aunt Mary. Uh, she was poor woman at the glove factory in Biddyford. I think I can't remember. I don't know if he was one of the bosses. I can't remember. I know Ray Soltel was the manager, and he's still alive and in a home somewhere. But uh, I know. I don't know whether he he was. I think he may have been the delivery driver. He used to come round the houses with all the boxes because they had a, several besides all that workforce. They had several outworkers, and mother was one. And they used to come every week with a box of pieces, and then take away the box of finished gloves. And mother used to have a penny a glove with all the stitching. She had to do all the stitching around the fingers and the thumbs, stitch your thumbs on and then turn them inside out, uh, turn them the right way round because you did them inside out and put the fingers out and inspect them and you had a penny for doing all that. Which in their days, uh, the 50s, 60s, was a fair bit of money really. You know, once you got used to it. And she used to have an old treadle mill to start with, the sewing machine, which was worked by the Furt. And then they took it away and uh, fit, fitted an electric motor to it. And mother, took mother a fair while to <laughs> learn the speed, because uh, she was just wrecking on how fast she could pedal. But then all of a sudden she pressed a button and <laughs> it, the, the machine worked. So uh, it took her a while to get used to the machine. But after that, it just turned out glove after glove. And uh, they used to have a poking stick to put the fingers out with, and a stretcher to stretch the gloves into shape. And uh, when we were old enough, we were allowed to put the fingers out and uh, check them. And uh, so it was, uh, it was a great to help mother to earn a bit of money. <laughs> <laughs>